On April 6th, the American Legion Riders Chapter 33 from Bedford, Indiana made the 90-minute ride north to the annual state convention in Indianapolis. We met up at the Gillen Post 33 for some breakfast, hung out for a bit, filled our bellies, grabbed some coffee, and then hit the road. We left the post right about 10.30, knowing we had about a two hour ride, but that we didn't have to be in our meeting until about two o'clock. And there was a vendor hall, some places we can check out, people to visit, chit chat with all of our fellow American Legion Rider chapter members from all over the state. So for those who aren't familiar with American Legion Riders, let me go ahead and play you this little intro. The American Legion Riders are a group of people that got together, uh, they do share all the same uh, uh, common interest in motorcycling and the American Legion, and what they've done is, is use that association to uh, promote the programs of the American Legion through their community, state, and nation. The American Legion Riders first formed in 1993 as a small chapter in Garden City, Michigan. They've since grown into a national program of the American Legion, but their strength still lies in the local Legion posts. Today, there are tens of thousands of riders organized in over a thousand chapters across the nation, supporting the ideals and programs of the American Legion family. They take care of our troops and their families through fundraising, special projects, and ceremonies. The Legion Riders is a unique opportunity for people like me who have a passion for veterans and military uh, and family service and community service and also have a passion for motorcycle riding and it's the Legion Riders give us an opportunity to to do both at the same time and life doesn't get any better than that. I think probably the most important thing that we need to remember about the riders is that we're not riders who are legionnaires. We're legionnaires who like to ride. They are a significant program that's a great recruiting tool uh, not only for the Legion, but for the Auxiliary and the SAL. Where we happen to live at in Panama City, it's a great recruiting tool for active duty military. Uh, our little post has about 50 active duty military members in it right now, both men and women that we support, and, uh, and the 50 of them are riders. Well, the Legion riders are a group of American Legion family members who uh, have the, share the same interest, and that's motorcycles. And, uh, whether you're SAL or whether you're auxiliary or whether you're a legion. I guess the, the difference with the Legion Riders is we're not a motorcycle club. We're an association formed to uh, promote the goals of the American Legion. And uh, we, um, we show ourselves to the public in a different light. I mean, we do have these vests, but we also use legion caps or berets that identify us with the American Legion. And um, we're constantly out in the public doing things that promote the goals of the American League. Motorcycle riders are, by nature, fairly adventurous, uh, independent-minded uh, people. And uh, we, we just get to hang together and, and uh, exercise our freedoms while we're supporting those who have made the freedoms possible. We help. Uh raise money for the soldiers that are wounded. Uh, we go out to funerals and uh, have flag ceremonies at the funerals, help as the honor guards, anything we can to support the veterans. The nature of motorcycle riding is that you encounter obstacles every day and you overcome them and you keep moving forward. And I think that the Legion Riders brings that same spirit to the American Legion programs. We may encounter, pro we may encounter problems, we may encounter challenges, but we're gonna figure out how to overcome them and we're gonna push forward. American Legion Riders brings a whole new enthusiasm to uh, some areas of the American Legion and uh, they hope to promote uh, uh, some good fundraising ideas, some good community service, and there again, it's, it's probably an enthusiasm that, 
that many posts have not seen for a while. What the Legion Rioters brings to the post and to the Legion is an abundance of energy. Well, I think that the American Legion Rioters are uh, obviously here to stay. Um, they're going to continue to grow. Um, they're going to continue to be an asset to the American Legion, the American Legion Auxiliary, and the Sons of the American Legion. And uh, I think the nation is better off because we're here. So let's talk about the American Legion family. It's made up of the American Legion, the American Legion Auxiliary, the Sons of the American Legion, and obviously the American Legion Riders. All right, so I'll do a quick overview over who can join the American Legion, and I'll do a more detailed video later. All right, if you have served federal active duty in U.S. Armed Forces during any of these qualifying dates and have been honorably discharged, you are eligible for membership in the American Legion. Now, because these eligibility dates remain open, all current members of the U.S. Armed Forces are eligible to join because we're still under hostilities. And yes, that does include all National Guard and Reservists who went to basic training in AIT during these time periods because you were on active duty during hostilities. Founded in 1919, the American Legion Auxiliary is the world's largest women patriotic service organization there is. Membership in the American Legion Auxiliary is open to grandmothers, mothers, sisters, wives, and direct and adopted female descendants of members of the American Legion, and also the grandmothers, mothers, sisters, wives, direct and adopted female descendants of all men and women who were in the armed forces during the periods of hostilities, also those who died in the line of duty, and also to those who have passed away since being honorably discharged after their service. And then we have the sons of the American Legion, who are all the male descendants and adopted sons, stepsons of the members of the American Legion, and those male descendants of veterans who died during service or were honorably discharged during those qualifying periods listed earlier. And here we are two hours later, arriving at the Marriott, getting ready to go into the state convention. If you have any questions about the American Legion or the American Legion Riders or membership, just leave your comments below and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as I can. We got here safe and sound and now we get to go inside and check out some uh, pretty cool stuff. The first thing that caught our eyes was the gentleman from Operation Combat Bike Savers who basically take donated parts, work with veterans, and build these gorgeous vehicles. After hanging out for a while, we jumped into the meeting room and started our annual meeting for the next couple of hours. And then jumped outside for a group photo and started figuring out where we were going for lunch. If you like videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave me comments down below. I'll be sure to answer all your questions. Until then, stay safe, keep your head on a swivel.